Hey friends, it's Allison. Welcome back to my channel. I'm dropping in to share with you today the first layout that I created using the Write Story Kit from Ellie Edwards. That is the newest kit out this month in May. I pulled out one of the four by six journal cards. I added my journaling to that. Um, I'm adhering that to my layout base right now. The layout base is just a plain white piece of cardstock that was trimmed down from 12 by 12 inches to seven inches wide by eight and a quarter inches tall. Underneath that, I'm going to add a couple of photos and a couple of journal cards. I'm attaching one photo and a three by four journal card. It's actually not a journal card. I took one of the papers from the kit, trimmed it to three by four inches and then glued it to the back of that photo. The photo, which is to the kind of top left of my screen right now, is the ultrasound that I got um, obviously back when I was pregnant with the twins. The story that I'm sharing today is about the very first words that I heard at that ultrasound telling us that it was twins. Um, neither of us was expecting that. So I thought that would be a fantastic way to kick off this kit. So I decided to create a flip out of that three by four journal or the three by four photo of my first ultrasound. I'm going to attach it to just a small piece of regular printer paper to create the hinge for my flip up. I could have used any kind of uh, flip up, like a flip flap from close to my heart or snap flips. Um, anything you have on hand would work if you wanted to do something like this. Um, I decided to use printer paper because I thought it would be the quickest and the easiest. Um, so I just folded it over and it is going to be attached behind the first photo that I added to the layout base, which is a more recent picture of the twins from last September. Once I have that adhered, I'll put the original three by four photo back down onto the layout. And then as you can see, it is layered next to a three by four journal card that says these words in this story. I thought that would work really well for this particular story as well. In the white space at the bottom of that journal card, I'm going to attach one of the pieces of ephemera that was included in the kit, uh, that giant heart. I tried stitching on it. Stitching is not an issue for me. I really enjoy it, but cross stitching is troublesome. Um, I decided to do a little bit of cross stitching on two sides of the heart just to add a little bit of interest to it. Um, but don't look too closely because it doesn't look all that good, in my opinion, anyways. Um, there's definitely room for improvement. But I popped up the heart with some foam squares just to give it a little bit of extra dimension. And then I pulled out the little word stickers that also came with the kit. I love that they are craft, by the way. Love, love, love it. Um, and I thought that I would cover the text at the top of my photo with on the ultrasound just to cover up any um, sensitive information that I don't want seen. So I pulled off a few different ones that were in varying lengths. I didn't really want them all to be the same size. Once again, just to create a little bit more um, interest and variation in the layout, especially on that photo. On the inside of the flip up where I added the pattern paper, I had some ephemera sitting on my desk from Coco Vanilla. Um, I think it was from Daydream. I popped that on the inside. I'm going to flip it up here in just a moment. There you go. And so on that gray pattern paper, I'm going to add this rainbow and then a couple of hearts. And then I'm going to write in the date underneath it on the right hand side of the rainbow. Once I have that done, um, this layout is totally complete. Now, what you didn't know about this layout is that originally it was going to be a double page layout and to create the second page of the layout, I had used my Cricut to draw my own pattern paper and then I used the print and cut function to create a title. Um, so the left hand page would have been the title page and then this page that I'm working on right now was the secondary um, supplementary page. I let it sit for a day and then realized the second page, 
the first page actually, like the title page, was totally not necessary. But I really liked the doodled pattern in the background. So I trimmed a portion of it off and actually glued it to the left-hand side of my layout base, um, just as a border and just to give it a little bit more interest. I really, really, really loved the doodled pattern. Oh my goodness, I loved it. But I thought that I would save it for another layout. I don't know when I'll use it, but at some point I will. Um, but in the meantime, you will see that pattern paper in the close-ups, which are right now. Thank you so much for joining me today, friends. I hope my layout inspired you. I hope you enjoyed my video. And if it did, please give me a thumbs up and a like, and maybe consider subscribing to my channel as well, if you haven't already done so. Take care, I'll see you again soon.